Hey everyone, so previously we covered the category colors plus the toolbar settings. In this video, we're going to go through the tooltip settings. So you all, as always, you have your two combinations. You have our combo view and your combo bar view with predefined configurations where you already have them available for you. But for us, we're going to go for the training view and actually build these situations from scratch. So first things first, let's add an instance of the combo visual. That's going to resize it. Let's also quickly disable the background and the title so it fits more nicely into the theme. Now, as for the setup, in this case, we're going to go for region. And the second thing that we're going to go through is we're going to add the series. For this visual, we're actually going to have multiple of them. So let's add payout analytics, development, marketing, product, and sales. So there we go. We have a visual like this. Now. What we're going to be talking about is going to be the tooltip settings and how to configure it to achieve more. Now, if you go into the formatting options right here, we can scroll down and find a tab called tooltip settings. So right here, we can open it up and we can see that the first option that we have here is tooltip type. So what the visual allows you to do is to choose whether you want to use our zoom charts built in tooltip or you want to use the native Power BI tooltip. Afterwards, you have some few additional settings. So for example, when you're using stacked column charts, if you want to use the stacked values or cumulative values, and you also have additional settings where you can define the display units, value decimals, and percentage decimals for those cases where you have them available. Now, what we're going to be doing here is we're actually going to be taking the same chart. We're going to resize it a bit. We're going to make a copy of it because I want to have two visuals side by side. There we go. And on the first one, we're actually going to go back to the tooltip settings and we're going to change it to the Power BI tooltip. And for the other one, we're going to keep our custom tooltip. Just wanted to showcase you one of the main differences. So what we do within our visual is we always try to make it as easy as possible for the end user to navigate and to read the chart. So one of the things that we did with the tooltip is that it's enabled whenever you hover over a category just to kind of showcase it, right? So we're going to first go through the native visual. So when you're on the native visual or native tool to variation, you actually have to hover over the particular column to call out a tool to, because otherwise it doesn't have the context. What we do in our case is you can see that I can hover wherever I want as long as I'm within the boundaries of the category. And you can see those boundaries with a lightly blue background and within the visual. So wherever I hover over, you can see that I can see all the series that are within that particular category. So this just makes things a lot easier. Now, when we go to the tooltip settings again, like I mentioned, there are additional settings also for the values. So something that you can do here is without touching the original format for the values itself, I can say that, for example, right here, you can see that I have everything in thousands. In my case, what I want to do now is, let's say, I don't want to have any aggregation. I want to have value decimals. Since this is a currency, I'm going to place two decimals and I don't have any percentages, so I'm going to just going to leave it at auto. So now when I hover over the columns itself within the tooltip, you can see that the value is displayed completely differently. This works really great also when you're working with value labels as a secondary item, because what it essentially allows you to do is to have a value label in one aggregation and have the information within the tooltip in a completely different one. So for example, I have everything abbreviated into millions, whereas in the tooltip, you have the exact decimal numbers. So it's just something to keep in mind. Now, another thing we do, of course, support is report page tooltips. For those cases, what you need to do is you need to go into the tooltip settings, make sure you have changed the tooltip type to Power BI built-in tooltip, because report page tooltips is a native feature. So once you switch it, you can close this tab, and you can scroll down almost to the bottom, and find another tab called just tooltip. The reason why we have these two tabs separate is because tooltip settings is a tab that we control from the visual, whereas tooltip tab is provided by Microsoft. So there's nothing we can touch within it. We can only enable or disable it. So, and with this tab, you're probably already familiar. So you can define the type for the tooltip. It can either be just a regular tooltip or it can be a report page tooltip. Once you have that set up, you can also choose which page you want to use as your tooltip. In my case, you can see I have a sample report page tooltip. So I'm going to choose it. And now whenever I hover over the column, for example, USA sales, you can see that instead of having a regular tooltip, 
I actually have a custom page being displayed, which showcases me the region that I have selected. And it also showcases me a time series with the payouts across the time. So having all these flexibilities and these options just allows you to create a more unique experience for your end users and to make sure that they're actually able to read the chart as fast as possible. All right, that's gonna be it for the tooltip settings. So I'll see you in the next chapter.